And welcome to my show. And today we're going to be doing a short video on <clears throat> an SGO that we've recently um, come under our care that uh, was inspected, uh, was installed recently, uh, a couple of years ago. It's going to been through about two seasons. And it was recently inspected. And the customer called us to um, try to make some, uh, recommend some improvements. Right off the bat, one of the things which uh, we discovered was that both the safety control and the operating pressure control were both mounted on a single pigtail using this manifold. And if that were not bad enough, the pigtail with steel. So what can happen if this gets clogged, you wipe out not only your operating control, but the safety control. You should always have them on separate pigtails. And the other problem was that this is steel, which it tends to rust. Well, it did rust. And so this is clogged. And so it's going to be replaced with brass and they're going to be mounted onto uh, separate um, pigtails. Um, the other issue is that, quite properly, there is what, what comes with it a, a low water cutoff, and the uh, probe is mounted in this three quarter inch tapping. This is the probe that I removed. I only had to clean it up slightly. And the Safety limit control, which is a 550, is this. And the main issue was that it was, there's really, there was mounted here on the equalizer line and significantly below where the, I guess the return, the wet return ties into, uh, which is Harford loop-ish, but not really a Harford loop because that, that nipple is too long, obviously. Uh, so this is located significantly below the safe operating level of the boiler. And so if this were to detect a low water condition when the water was actually that low, by that time the boiler would have been burned up. The main issue is not that that is in the wrong location. What tends to happen is something a little bit more subtle and annoying. This is the probe that we pulled from that location there, and uh, it's got a coating on it, a coating of grease. And so what tends to happen is the resistance to this gets a temporarily above 5,000 ohms and causes nuisance lockout. So this will lock out the system and uh, you'll have a no heat condition and it is not due to a low water condition. So what we're gonna have to do is remove that and mount it I guess the best location, and we've had pretty good success, is mounting it in this hole here. The only issue there, of course, is this is half inch. You have to get a special probe that's only half inch and not three quarter, and then mount. We're going to see if we can mount the uh, safety control there, just barely clearing the door. We'll, we'll find out. What was mounted there, you ask? Well, for some reason, best known to the installers, they had a well, a thermostat well, and they mounted a hot water uh, safety limit. There's your reset button there. And they had turned the temperature up pretty high above the boiling point of the water. And uh, that made that work. The other issue is that this is an SGO7 and the instructions call for the uh, two outlets to be two and a half inch. They reduced it down to two inch and tied it into the existing header. You can quibble about this T there, but you gotta do what you gotta do sometimes. There's your VXT again. Um, one of the issues that they used in the wiring is that in just about all cases they used uh, two wire with ground and they decided to use the uh, ground marked electrode as a current carrying electrode. Um, 
I'm not an electrician. I just play one on YouTube, but I don't think that's correct. So I'm going to have to pretty much rewire everything, and that's why we, we stripped it all down. Thank you very much for playing, and I uh, hope to see you on the next one. Any questions, please don't hesitate to ask.